Hey guys, King Kade here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and make good renders of your items that you go ahead and model in Blender. So, so for example, right here we have an axe that we went ahead and made a few videos ago. And we're going to go ahead and be rendering this thing so it looks pretty nice. So yeah, so the first thing we want to do, we don't want to just go ahead and render like this. By the way, if y'all don't know, the way to preview renders... Like to see how they would look when rendered you can go ahead and click on this little tab up here and then this is how it would look if it were to be rendered right now so yeah, which that wouldn't look pretty good it wouldn't so now what we want to go ahead and do go ahead and click shift a and go ahead and add a cube so yeah, now once you have your cube make sure you're on face select up here go ahead and click a to select all go down here hold down shift and select these two so you diselect them then click x delete faces and now what you want to go ahead and do just select those, click Alt and Flip. There we go. And now just go ahead and scale it up. It doesn't have to be too big. Just scale it up until it feels right. I'm just going to go ahead and move this to the side so it's easier. And then also scale it on the Y axis if you want to. I like doing it because it makes it a little bit easier. Maybe on the X axis a little bit more. And maybe a little bit more scaled up. It doesn't have to be too big. It can probably be a lot smaller. But I like this just so I can get different angles if I want to. And yeah, now once you have this, go ahead and go to Edge Select, this tab up here, and go ahead and bevel this. So Control B, and then go ahead and put it up quite a bit. I like kind of beveling this a lot, because it doesn't really matter how much you bevel it, just as long as it doesn't really lag. So now once you bevel it, go ahead and right click Auto Smooth. You can also do Shade Smooth too, but Auto Smooth works good. And then just go ahead and grab your item. So over here we have this axe, which we are going to be rendering. So let's go ahead and just drag that over here by clicking G. And now we just want to go ahead and align it. Stay in this position if we want it to. We can just go ahead and move this background. Which let's go ahead and go like this so we can actually see it. And then about right there is good. And now what you want to go ahead and do. Go ahead and add in your camera. So go ahead and click Shift A. Scroll down. Camera. Click right here. And also how you go ahead and enter your camera. Go ahead and click 0 kind of depends on what keyboard you have me it's the zero on the very right side but for y'all it might be different so yeah now once you're in your camera view if you want you can go ahead and move it around like this but how i like doing it i like going into navigation but yeah so what we'll do we'll just easily move it like this until it's in front and then we'll go ahead and modify a little bit more so zero to go into camera view and now what we'll go ahead and do we'll click up here view navigation walk navigation and now we can just go ahead and freely move it move around with WASD so and we'll go ahead and put it about right here and now we don't want it to be this big go ahead and click on this print printer tab right here right underneath the camera and we can go ahead and change the resolution so let's go ahead and change this to 1080 like that and that will go ahead and make a square and now what we can do we can go here and we just go ahead and move it in a little bit more or we can go ahead and move this a little bit more backward so it's towards the camera a little bit more. So now once we have this, what I like doing, I like moving it around a little bit more. You can take the picture like that if you want to, but I like changing it up a little bit. So maybe like this, maybe slanted a little bit, slanted a little bit backward. And there we go. I kind of like it like that, which I'll move it a little bit forward because that is a little bit too far slanted back. There we go. And how does that look? And yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. Now what we want to go ahead and do, I recommend changing the background color so to the material tab, new, and just go ahead and leave it as base color. You can go ahead and change it if you want, but I like just changing the base color. So right here, I recommend like changing it to blue and just making it pretty dark. But depending on your weapon, if your wep weapon is like fire themed or yellow, then you might want to go ahead and change it to like dark orange or dark red. For this, I'll probably do dark red, kind of. Maybe like that, I can make it brighter red, but kind of darker like that, since it is like kind of red. Now what we want to go ahead and do, we want to go ahead and add lights. So shift A, you can add whatever light you want to, I like doing the area light. So we'll go ahead and move it over here, and there we go, go ahead and scale it up as well. And now we're just going to go ahead and rotate it, go into this, and I can just go ahead and grab the middle. And then just go ahead and rotate like this. So we need a bottom one and a top one. So for the bottom one, since this is like, since the handle is kind of going leftward, we'll go ahead and move this over here for the bottom. Maybe go ahead and move it up a little bit more. And now for the blade, let's go ahead and duplicate it. Move it to the right. 
and then this one will be for the top move it like that and then move it upward and now for these you can choose whatever colors you want we also need to go ahead and change the power which is the brightness but you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want let's go ahead and go to the render preview so this is what it will look like so right now we're rendering it on eevee i recommend doing cycles but i like using it on eevee just while i go ahead and change the lighting and stuff a little bit just so it doesn't lag and so i can go ahead and see it better so for this i kind of recommend doing one orange and one blue but depending on what colors your thing are you can go ahead and change that so blue let's go ahead and move this upward and this let's go ahead and move this upward as well and i'm not really sure what colors i want to go ahead and do for this i might just stick with these colors but i'm not sure for this we could go ahead and make it more of a purple so that it kind of matches a little bit more let's go ahead and increase that increase this one as well so now what you want to go ahead and do you can go ahead and go into this preview so it doesn't lag go ahead and click render up here render image and now we're just going to go ahead and wait for it to render. But yeah, which looking at it rendered, it looks like there's this little spot, spot right here where it's a little bit lighter. So I need to go ahead and go back and change that because I don't really like how that looks. So instead of waiting for this, I'll just go ahead and close out of it. Oh, and I realized the problem is like that because this light right here is actually like going through it, which that kind of messes it up. So I'll go ahead and shrink this one down. And there we go. It should now be fixed since this light isn't like chopping through it anymore. So now if we go ahead and render it, which let's go ahead and change back to cycles. Now if we go ahead and render it, there we go. Just go ahead and wait for it. It should go ahead and look a lot better. So it is a little bit like blurry right now. But once it fully finishes rendering, then it should look a lot better. So now once it's finished rendering, what you want to go ahead and do, go ahead and click image, save as. So now once we went ahead and saved your image, now let's go ahead and edit it. So I, me editing it, since I don't have Photoshop and I don't want to pay for it, I just use this thing called Pixlr. It's kind of similar, and it's like pretty much just as good. So this is what I like going ahead and using. Just go ahead and open it, go ahead and put your picture in it. And me, I'm just duplicating it so I can go ahead and compare the before and after. And now we're just going to go ahead and edit it a little bit, just so it looks a little bit better. So for saturation... Maybe we could go ahead and bring this up. Me, I like starting from zero and just putting it all the way up to go ahead and see how much it changes it. And then I just put it somewhere in the middle. So probably, probably kind of right there. We can also go ahead and mess with the hue. Make it look a little bit like darker and brighter. And probably, probably somewhere right here. Yeah, I'll probably just pretty much leave that at zero right there. And now brightness and contrast. Contrast kind of makes the background a little bit darker. And kind of brings out the main piece. So I'll go ahead and put that at like 4 or something. And then temperature. It is kind of a purple background. So we could go ahead and make the temperature a little bit darker. Or we could go ahead and make it warmer since it is red. So let's go ahead and try it right there. And yeah that looks pretty good. We could go ahead and make the main selection brighter if we want to. So this is before and after so before after it just looks a lot better and yeah that is how you go ahead and make a render in blender and go ahead and edit it to go ahead and make it look a lot better but yeah that's gonna go ahead and be all for this video though so go ahead and leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video